Carolina Panthers. Dustin Hopkins has it on the tee, and here we go from our nation's capital. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. Ready. The run Ready. only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Watch the run. Watch the run. Ready. Newton to throw. That's Samuel caught left side. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. say already out of bounds and the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield and that brings up second down ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10 throwing again Newton got a man complete it's Chris Hogan a first down there on a pickup of 25 we often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. The DN Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And an alley to run. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing. Because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. From the red zone now, Newton. Flushed out right. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, but it'll be second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw again. Newton. That's going to be caught at the ten-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. It's a six-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Quite the drive.
there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Now a first down throw. Keenan. That's complete to his tight end, Sprinkle. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina Terrace. run good for nine here's second and a yard shotgun handoff to Thompson and he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line two yards good enough for a first second and one and people want to run the football this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there pick up the first down plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll try the air now with Keenan. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, but it's going to be second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Here we go, D. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Hand off to Thompson. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Throwing on third down, Keenan. He's got it complete to Thompson. He had a quick little spin move, but the door shut fast as he's dropped. 
Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Carolina getting set to take the field. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Now this one complete on the slam round, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. From the 50, Newton. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. There's a ball thrown right side and complete, and he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. To throw is Newton. Going to throw deep for the end. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So they get the INT. Now here's Keenum. It's hauled in by Doxon. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. To throw again on second down. Keenum. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown, Washington. Josh Doxon. 70 yards, and the Redskins have taken the lead. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Already looking forward. Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Here's the Carolina ready. offense as they get ready to take over here. You're down three under a minute to go. How aggressive are you going to be in this spot? Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only down three. I mean, it might as well be even going into the half. That's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. He'll get five out of the scramble, hit second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Throwing again on second down. Newton. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target, and it's third and five. He was covered by Judge Norman. The Panthers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. Newton now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Panthers.
Rangers, Olsen. Greg Olsen in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. Gano the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Complete physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Throwing his Keenum on third down. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that went. And I think the ball's out. And this is going to get out of bounds, so they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. And down he goes. Keenum is sacked. Kyle Love. He's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Tressway now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and ten at the 20. From the gun, here's Newton. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by the all pro corner, Josh Norman. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn the block, find the spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Looking to throw again on second down. Keenum looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson, and it's third and short. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Redskins have once again taken the lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now 17-14. Following the 
touchdown. Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things. You and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Curtis Samuel, 39 yards. And his guys are able to strike for six. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24 yard line. Down. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowler Luke Kinkley that picks it. And he's able to get it back to the 33 yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. play here is incomplete and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play back now at fedex field it's the panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four they try to throw on second down but this one is incomplete he was looking to get that one to dj Moore. And that'll make it third down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only the DBs gonna throw their verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're gonna have a few words to say to the QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Newton now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Newton gonna hand it off to McCaffrey. And I think his defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Trying to 
to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. It's a gain of five. And that'll bring up second down. To throw is Keenum. He'll go over the middle to read complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They had two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Keenum now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10, and he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27th. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts. Back to throw. As they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Now Keenum. Throw left side complete. That's Thompson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Chris Thompson. In the final minute, and the Redskins are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. session in a moment this is the nfl on ea sports it's a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. Throwing on first down is Keenum. Complete. Richardson has it. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. 
Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Third and long, it's Keenum. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Eric Reed, the former LSU Tiger, making the play on the defensive side. Well, their defense did its job. Now they're going to get the football with a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a chance to win the game. And boy, they did it well. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. Oh, but we thought this game would be a good oh, one. It did not disappoint into overtime. And it took the field goal to win it. And we always pay lip service to how important it is to play defense. And usually we focus on the big offensive pyrotechnics, right? But in this case, they got the ball back. Carolina's there, hard-fought victory.